Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto Zquerro and today we are going to be talking about plotting it's going to be a little bit of a special video, but I want to talk about this topic. And we are basically going to work about plotting, how to create plots in ROS, like for instance with uh, RQT plot GUI, and some limitations about RQT plot and how we can um, bypass these limitations, let's say. But before anything else, Remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy in the video description. Now yes, let's start with the video. So as I've said, I want to talk about plotting. And for that, I'm going to use a new course we have just added to the Robot Ignite Academy, which is this uh, using open AI with ROS, which is a very interesting course that talks about combining open AI with ROS simulations using an an structure that we have created. But I'm basically going to use an example of this course in order to show to talk about plots. And it's uh, I'm I'm going to try to I'm going to plot the reward of a training. So, okay, so here we are in the first unit, the introduction to the course, and here what I'm going to do is basically launch this script, which is the demo, and this will start my training session, as you will see right now, and the carpool will start moving and trying to maintain upright, there we are. Excellent. So now, while all of this is happening, while the training is, ta is taking place, one of the a new topic is being published, which is this topic called Open AI Reward. Yes. So let's have a look at this uh, topic. Uh, topic echo. Sorry. Open AI Reward. There we are, and as you can see, uh, this basically uh, the, the message basically has two fields. One is the episode number, and the other one is the reward. So for the episode 15 of the training, we had a reward of 43. Yes, as you can see here. Uh, okay, so how can we try to plot this? Let's just stop uh, this. So let's try to use, for instance, RQT plot. ROS1, RQT plot, RQT plot. There we are. So I'm going to open their graphical interface here in order to be able to visualize the RQT plot application. There we are. The training will keep going until I stop it, so we need the training to be running in order to have the OpenAI reward topic uh, publishing, because if we stop the training, this uh, topic will stop publishing, and we won't be able to visualize nothing. Okay, so here we have our plot, as you can see. Excellent, so let's try to open AI reward, here we have it. Let's try to add this topic, the two fields of this topic. Okay. So it's just starting to plot some things there, as you can see. In blue we have the episode number, and in red we have the episode reward. So as you can see, this is uh, not very uh, easy to understand what this plot is uh, giving and yeah we have basically one problem here the episode number of course will keep uh, going up so now it's in the order of 50s i can see 
And yeah, basically the problem we have here is that for each episode, for each episode, the time in the simulation is restarted. Yes? So let's move this a little bit. Like this, let's see. So that's why, as you can see, the day, day axis, which is this one, it's increasing because the episode number keeps also increasing. Yeah, that's why this uh, field will keep increasing infinitely. Yes? But the x-axis, which is this, it's not uh, changing at all. The plot is always placed here. And this is happening because for each episode, the simulation is resetted. As you can see, whenever it stops, whenever the pole falls, the simulation is restart automatically, yes? So now it will restart. There it is, yes? So because of this reason, the time is always the same and the plot keeps overwriting the previous values yes so this makes this plot uh, very very hard to to interpret and to understand and we can do nothing about it because in RQT plot the x-axis will always be the the time yes we cannot modify this so what can we do in order to visualize this plot better let's try one thing and let's let's stop here equity plot. Let's stop it. Okay. There we are. And let's try another tool. In this case, we are going to try the equity multiplot, which is another tool which is provided also for ROS. Here, as you can see here, I have at RQT plot, but you can also search for RQT multiplot if you are interested. There we have it. Yeah. So, okay, here it is running. Let's come again to the graphical interface window. Excellent. So now here, let's... Uh, at, we can configure the plot as we want. So basically I'm going to come here to the configure plot button. Let's click here and let's call this plot, I don't know, uh, open AI reward. Then I'm going to click here on the add curve icon and here uh, I'm going to select the Okay, let, let's try one thing. I'm going to stop for one second. Okay, no, there's no, 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 I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to directly do it. Okay, so let's select here the OpenAI reward topic. And here we have it. So as you select the topic, uh, the type and the field sections are auto-completed with the type of the message and the fields of this message. And as you can see here, we have the episode number and the episode reward available, as you saw before. So now for the x-axis, I'm going to select the episode number. And for the e-axis, I'm going to select the episode reward. Yes. So whenever you're done, let's click enter and save this. And uh, here we have our new plot with the OpenAI reward episode number as the x-axis and the OpenAI reward episode reward as the y-axis. So let's now click on the OK button. And let's click on play. Here we have our curve, basically. So let's, it's named on title curve. So let's give it a name. Uh, reward plot. Okay, there we are. Excellent. So here we have our reward plot. So now, in order to start visualizing something, we'll click here on the run plot uh, icon. So let's click here, and we will start having uh, values now. There we are. First value. 
second value, third value. So as you can see now, this is starting to make more sense. So here, in the y-axis, we have the reward of each episode. So for instance, this episode had a reward of 35. Yes? So the episode number 189, 189, which is this one, had a reward of 35. The episode 190 had a reward of 20. The episode 196 had a reward of 36, as you can see here. Yes? So now we can visualize very easily in the y-axis all the episode numbers and the reward for each episode. So as you can see here in the episode 203, we, ha had, we had a very high reward of 60, which is the top reward we had uh, until now. But now this is very easy to understand and we, we can easily interpret this reward, this uh, plot. Yes? And well, that's basically all that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you have liked, liked the, the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell also for a new video every day. And either you like the video or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.